It's been a while. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Greg Wood. The Marble Rally is finally back. We've weathered the weather and are ready to go for the qualifiers. 28 marbles battling for 12 spots. The biggest change in this format, of course, the main tournament will have 16 racers instead of 20. Everybody else will compete in the showdown with 16 marble races as well. The obstacles, you'll see some new, some old. You'll also see some old marbles that automatically qualify. They will run a race of their own as a practice later in this video. Those are our four automatic qualifiers. Here in quality number one, though, we have these seven marbles that are off and running to attempt to make the field and get their way into the main sand marble rally. It is Blazing Fireball leading out in front with Pollo Loco and Reflector behind Lollipop, that dazzlingly colored marble back behind there. Pollo Loco makes a dive for the lead around this long left-hander they come. Lollipop trailing Reflector now. Deep Ocean, Marbly McMarble Face, and Phoenix all trading those back spots as we say that. Pollo Loco streaking down through. Oh, did somebody get stuck? Marbly McMarble Face, I believe, was stuck. Not sure if that marble got dislodged or will keep going. No. Officially timing and scoring, that is out, a DNF, and that is awful to happen in the qualifiers, because you know that marble will go no further. It is Pollo Loco out to a big lead right now, blazing fireball in a nice battle with Reflector as they come under the bridge. The two of them are closing the gap. Here comes Lollipop between both of them. Pollo Loco will advance, as will Lollipop and Reflector by six hundredths of a second will get by Blazing Fireball. So it may not have mattered for Marbly McMarble Face if that marble finished in fourth or below, but still, we will never know. Oh, that dastardly leaf. Marbly McMarble Face, two wins in the Sand Marble Rally. And in this lineup, we see a newcomer, Amethyst, starting in that fifth spot. Down they come. Lots of silver and light colored marbles in this one. And it is Blizzard Blaster out in front. Silver Bolt takes the lead with a shove right there. They came together in a couple of moments. Quicksilver is now trailing Blizzard Blaster. Amethyst holding in fourth. El Capitan back there. Blue Moon in fifth. Nemo trailing the whole field. Silver Bolt started in position number one. Of course, they're all side by side and remains there, but no, gets moved aside under breaking. Blizzard Blaster out in front, but these top four marbles are all very close. Remember, it's only the top three that advance. The whole field is still within striking distance here in Quali 2. Blizzard Blaster, Silver Bolt, Amethyst in the transfer spots right now. Quick Silver needs to gain a spot to move on. They're all right there together. In this transfer spot, can Quicksilver get by? One corner to go, no. The top three will be Blizzard Blaster, Amethyst for the first time, and Silver Bolt. El Capitan behind Quicksilver, Nemo, and Blue Moon will not advance. They will be relegated to the showdown. This course is a tricky one. It may not look like it right away, but it's one that has its twists and turns. And as we've seen from Marbly Marble Face and a couple of others, one wrong move, and you are out. Nice lineup here in this one. Although Black Knight struggles to get out of the gate, we've got some marbles here that are up on the list of all-time wins in the Sand Marble Rally. You see Crazy Cat Size, they've got four wins that trails the leaders only by two. Grasshopper was in the lead in this race. Let's focus back on this one. But that Chevron creating all kinds of trouble. Crazy Cat's Eye is up in front. Grasshopper, then it's Wisp of Darkness. And the sun briefly coming out here. And look at the shine off of some of those marbles. Nice close-up view for that one. Crazy Cat's Eye, Grasshopper, Wisp of Darkness. Then you see Comet back there, another fan favorite. Black Knight has recovered up there to fifth. Dragon's Egg, which is tied for the lead for all-time wins in the San Marble Rally with six, tied with red number three. 
Now falls back into last behind H2 Blue. Grasshopper catching the draft right now. Trying to get that win, although he will transfer regardless. It's that third spot that we're watching, and it's not going to be that contested this time. The top two and Wisp of Darkness will move on. Black Knight, Comet, H2 Blue, and surprisingly, Dragon's Egg is eliminated. No more wins in the top level for Dragon's Egg, who is trying to get by red number three for the winningest marble in Sand Marble Rally history. Let's see what the aforementioned red number three and two-time Sand Marble Rally champion can do in this one. We are off, and it is the former champ out in front. Duct tape, also right there, Cobra, that greenish marble back there in front of Summer Sky. Big Pearl in fifth. Farther back behind, Green Turtle and the White Widow rounding out the field. But so far, those top three staying fairly close together. It's Summer Sky and Big Pearl who are trying to get by one another to make a move on those leaders. That one was a failed move on Cobra. Summer Sky couldn't get that one done, but tries again and once more gets shoved to the side. Big Pearl loses a couple of spots. Now back into sixth. Dicey moments here down into the final third of this course for those marbles that are trying to transfer. Is it an inevitability for red number three? It's looking like it so far. Duct tape, Cobra. Oh, there's Green Turtle also up there. Big Pearl trying to make some moves. Briefly had a spot gained, but could not hold it. Green Turtle is now closing on that transfer position and Cobra. Finish line nearly in sight. Back and forth they come, but no, the order holds. Duct tape does get the win and will transfer along with red number three and Cobra disappointment. For some more fan favorites, Green Turtle, White Widow, Big Pearl, and Summer Sky, they will not make the Sand Marble Rally this year. As we get ready for a practice race now, Slimer, Ghost Plasma, Cool Moody, and Super Bowl, our four automatic qualifiers for this year's Marble Rally. Down they come, Super Bowl. Nicely done, getting off of that ramp. Ghost Plasma, another former champion here in the Sand Marble Rally. Cool Moody, back there in third, Slimer, but it's these top two that are well off into the distance, avoiding that Chevron like good experts should. All four of them do, in fact. None of them catch that trap. Super Bowl, four wins in the Sand Marble Rally, two off of the lead, Ghost Plasma has two wins, but importantly, a championship to boot. That came back in 2016. Super Bowl, our most recent champion, holds the top spot right now in this practice race. They're starting to get competitive. I think they realize that what was a practice is turning into a bit of fun, but a bit intense too. They want to win. Super Bowl, Ghost Plasma, Slimer, and Cool Moody. In those positions, Super Bowl with a couple of corners to go. Oh, Cool Moody with some contact to Slimer, falls back to last. Let's look up ahead. Oh, a Leaf overtakes Super Ball, but that marble is unfazed. That Leaf didn't have to run a whole race, though. Nice win for our defending champion. Super Ball over Ghost Plasma, Slimer, and Cool Moody round out the practice race. See wind shaking that finish line sign just a bit. These conditions are getting worse, but it doesn't really matter. It's practice between these four marbles, and that's just about it. But the question is, now that we begin to know, who will qualify? Ah, there we are. There are the qualifiers for this season's Sand Marble Rally. 16 of them will be competing. Who will come out as champion? Who will rewrite the record books? We hope that you will subscribe and join us for the competition.